Hey Rep Bags, it's Jay today with a sad video. Everyone get the tissues out because it's the end of Grounded. Grounded is dead. It's had its last planned feature content update. There is only going to be quality of life from here on out. Confirmed by the devs themselves and no, this ain't a Terraria situation. With the technology really being challenging, they simply cannot fit anything else onto the actual game, especially with the Switch launch. Genuinely, I've been sad about it. This game has done so much for me. It's been one of my biggest successes across all the time I have been a tuber across both my channels. This channel right here, JPG Crafted, I've really created just particularly for Grounded because I was sick of the algorithm not showing some of my content on my older channel. So I love the game. It's in my top five of all time. And for new viewers, I'm getting there. Don't worry, it's coming. The point of this video. I would need to talk about the future. What other games could I potentially be going as hard as I did with Grounded? Sure, I've covered games like Core Keeper, which I really enjoy, and we'll talk about later. Other games like Small Land, Lego Fortnite, and a few others. But none of them have I gone ham with like I have with Grounded. None of them have I got that certain affinity and certainly that mix of successful views. So that's what we're doing today, previewing 10 games that I think some Grounded fans may enjoy. Basically, if you're a young survival fan, because that's what Grounded is marketed at, within lot you like action RPG, combat, more role-playing mechanics in your survival games. Or it just might be that perspective of being small. There's a couple games in here where you will be exploring a much larger, bigger world. They're not all survival games, there's definitely a few that are definitely RPG, maybe even roguelike, but I still feel like a lot of you guys might actually be able to enjoy it. So let's go. Let's get this one straight out of the way. It isn't a survival game, which most of these games will be, but it is definitely that element of you being small, and certainly a lot of Grounded players have always dreamed of being or interacting with toys more. This is Hypercharge. It's a co-op shooter game where you can play with your friends in split screen and it's going to be coming to Xbox at last. It's been available on Steam for four years and the developers have caused a bit of controversy in their marketing, always basically talking up the fact that it's going to come to console and people just had to keep wishlisting and liking their Twitter page or the Steam page. But it's actually true, it's going to be arriving on May the 31st across Xbox Series X and S. Will it be any good? I'm not sure, but Small Soldier Fantasies incoming, or Toy Story, but you know, with a bit more AK action, it's here. No news on a PlayStation release, given it's taken a few years, I wouldn't expect it for a good while. I think Under the Rock is definitely going to generate a lot of hype amongst young and survival crafting fans who just like a bit more of a chill experience. It's got obviously some Pixar vibes in the trailer and I've been following this game a lot. In fact, I was one of the first tubers to really start talking about it when it first got announced. You and up to nine other players, 10 total, surviving on a tropical paradise where you'll be able to tame prehistoric creatures and fight off Neanderthals. Base building, crafting and combat as you try and make a home for yourself. Kind of loosely set in the 1920s, I do believe. There's a plethora of colorful and cute creatures that you'll be able to ride, tame, and otherwise hopefully use to fight off others. Best part is that this one is gonna be a multi-release, coming to Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation, although I wouldn't be too surprised if it hit Steam early access for a good while first. You'll be able to customize your character, something Grounded fans have always wanted, Take your character out into the wilds and try and survive in procedurally generated tropical paradises filled with all sorts of different biomes and ways to traverse around it. I'm not too sure if it's going to be a first person game or just a third person, but the base building elements on Shine and Trailer are pretty unique. It's going to be caves for you to explore, basic dungeons to clear out, swim underwater, hopefully they can make it just as good as Grounded's Pond Lab levels and a pretty similar build system with the blueprint style, so you can actually plan out your bases before going ahead and building it straight away. No release date as of yet, other than saying 2024 it's coming. I think Under a Rock, if it did release this year on all platforms, it'd be one of the biggest games of the year. But honestly, Steam release first, I reckon. Talking of biggest games of the year, Enshrouded sold quite a few. Maybe not the biggest, but certainly sold millions, surprisingly just at the same time as Power World, it didn't get overshadowed. It's effectively Portal Knights 2.0, obviously looking very different, but that really is the core of the game, very similar to the first game that Keen Games made. Big focus on co-op, although maybe not implemented amazingly, you can play with up to 16 players on a static map. 
you'll gather resources and build very similar ways that you'll gather tons of blocks and then be able to custom build all sorts of crazy stuff going on. Particularly comparisons to Grounded are in the RPG aspects. That's what Grounded actually surprisingly has and Enshrouded has very similar with a skill tree system where you can really tailor your build to how you want. Melee, Archer, Magic, you get the idea there's all sorts of ways to play. So of course, a big success in Steam and the devs have confirmed a bunch of times now that they will be releasing console, but not until early access is done. Judging by the speed of updates they've already had since its release back in January, I wouldn't be too surprised if it was maybe summer 2025 that we actually get to see this on consoles. I don't think it'll be that long before they finish up on Steam. How excited are you if you're on the PlayStation or Xbox about trying out Enshrouded? And on PC, how are you enjoying the updates they've already added? Christmas before last, I was really sick for about two weeks, and all I did on my Steam Deck was play Core Keeper. This is an amazing crafting survival game that is finally coming to Xbox, PlayStation and Nintendo Switch this summer. It's super addictive, imagine a top-down Terraria game. Tons of mini bosses, all sorts of weapon and gear and loot that you'll be able to find, and a whole ton of crafting, base building and automation. It's got simply one of the best soundtracks I've ever listened to, and honestly, just one of my favourite games I've played in the last few years, so I can't wait for it to now arrive on Xbox, PlayStation and Switch. No definitive end release date for that yet, I'm guessing they're waiting just to make sure the ports are all done. It will be having its 1.0 release as well, adding the final slew of content to it. So I'm going to be all over it once it does hit. Very different from third person or first person crafting survival or even action games, but I do get the sense that a lot of Terraria fans out there love Grounded and you guys I'm sure are going to love this game as well, so keep it on your radar. Not going to lie, I could fill this video with 20,000 different survival games incoming, but the idea is that they may be a bit more chill, some of them are going to be a bit more colourful or have got adventure style mechanics in it, maybe RPG. Raft though I think definitely fits into this video, it's been out a long long time now on Steam and it did get announced last year as coming to Xbox and Playstation in the future. It's got co-op and if you somehow haven't seen this, it is a survival game set on a raft where you'll be exploring mysterious islands eventually, gathering up debris and trying to build yourself a farmstead and make a super big powerful boat. Avoiding a huge killer shark that patrols the waters, expect what you normally find in typical survival games, managing your thirst, your hunger and try and stay alive. With its colourful aesthetic, I think it fits right in with what I would expect Grounded fans to enjoy. And it's obviously got a lot of hype over the years. I'm sure console fans are eager for it. Sadly though, Redbeat, the publishers behind the game and Axeloft, seem to not really want to give proper answers and have detailed no real any new info. Supposedly meant to be out this year, fingers crossed. Many have mistaken Grounded's combat for being too kiddish, or that the game is somehow not that challenging because it has got that kind of Pixar animation. But believe it or not, Grounded's got some of the best combat that I have played in terms of being actually skillful at perfect blocking and parrying. Take that to the next level and you might have something like Hyper Light Breaker. This is the semi-sequel to a kind of 2D top-down hack and slash RPG that launched a few years ago. Now they've gone third person, open world, and you'll be basically carving up enemies, trying to get resources. It's not necessarily strictly a survival game, definitely more on the action adventure side. Yes, 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 people are going to probably compare it a lot to other most recent Nintendo games like Zelda. But I think it's pretty fast paced and furious and I think it will scratch that itch for a lot of players who enjoy maybe roguelikes and just that action combat and maybe more difficult creatures to face off against. Fingers crossed it won't be too soon before we hear any concrete news but I'm expecting it hopefully to release it at some point later on this year for Steam again at first and then launching on Xbox and Playstation at some point next year. But with a mixture of gunplay, melee combat and absolutely colourful visuals I'm looking forward to this. Another action adventure game, this time it has got a lot more survival mechanics, farming and definitely a bit more chill. This is Oppidum. You may have not really heard about it. It's got kind of a very low key small marketing push at the moment, but it seems to be being developed quite well and it's meant to be coming out on all platforms. 
It's promising cross-platform support across all of the different consoles, PlayStation as well as PC, and it is going to be either single player or online co-op. You'll be hacking and slashing your way through a plethora of different creatures, gathering stone and wood to build up your settlement with maybe some automation and certainly definitely some farming elements. Seems to be quite a lot of choice in different armors and weapons that you'll be able to accrue and a good selection of enemies to fight off against. So yeah, this could be something to keep an eye on in the future. I've got another YouTube channel, if you don't know, it's called JPG Survival, and it's where I've covered pretty much every survival game before deciding to make a new one focused a bit more on younger and more chill experiences. About five years ago now, I showcased a game called Towers. It's a mix of like weird Studio Ghibli and yes, Breath of the Wild. Well, it went quiet for a good amount of time, but it came back last year with a new trailer and a new name. It's now Towers of Agasbar. It's a PlayStation, by looks of things, console exclusive for some point. I don't know if it's going to remain that way, but it will be launching on PlayStation and PC. You'll be able to play it on your own or co-op with friends, and it's just this really weird mix of outworldly creatures. The idea of the game originally was that you would kind of build up your settlement to kind of trigger a win scenario, and that friends or players on servers could do it together. Along the way, you'll have to fight off and base defense against some dark creatures that may periodically come and attack your village. So I'm so pleased to see it's not actually a dead concept and it looks like to have got all the funding it needed to eventually arrive, hopefully at some point in 2024. Combat, crafting, farming, and more importantly, being able to ride creatures, climb them like in Shadow Colossus, and basically hopefully bring a dead part of a planet to life. Visually, Towers of Agasbar is probably the most outstanding I've seen. Maybe bar, maybe light no fire, which we'll maybe talk about towards the end. Can the gameplay match up to these very, very demorific trailers? Hopefully, I'll give you guys the lowdown as we get more and new info and first looks. A huge part of Grounded's appeal has always been the perspective of being small, and clearly a lot of the games I've already showcased and spoke about don't have that. If you followed my channel a while, you'll know I ended up being a bit disappointed in Small Land, maybe not reaching for the best it could be with its 1.0 release and console launch. But I still love the idea of being small and surviving in a much larger world. This is Infinitesimals. It's going to be coming to the Epic Game Store and fingers crossed maybe other platforms if it's successful. No idea when though. This got just put on the store and it's been something I've followed again for a good few years on Twitter. A more sci-fi shooter action take on this kind of small surviving in a larger world take, but the idea that you'd be able to pilot these vehicles while you're doing it is pretty cool. you literally be able to have one of these and drive around or pilot and go and explore jungles, deserts and more. So yeah, not a like for like experience like small land or grounded, but maybe the next best thing in terms of small survival or at least small exploration. And finishing off with a loft, I absolutely think this game's gonna be massive. It's had a demo available for ages and they've been updating it like it's a full actual game. You can play co-op with your friends as you survive in lots of sky islands, like paragliding all the way through, gathering resources, fighting these weird little mutant mushroom creatures and basically living a cozy, comfy little life. It's hopefully gonna be coming to Steam soon. I think we'll get an announcement in June about an actual release date, and I reckon it will be an early access release. So it still may be some time before console players get a chance to try it. But with the creativity and being able to make your own actual Sky Islands a map, pilot the actual island as a ship, not just craft one yourself, I think this has got bags of potential and I'm gonna be all over it. And that's where we're at. There are tons of other games, of course, like I'm really excited about Light No Fire, maybe Ark 2, and a bunch more more mature, maybe, games. But they're all going to be on my other channel, JPG Survival, because that's the idea. That channel's there for the more sort of mature, open world crafting games. This one's meant to be for slightly younger or just more chill experiences. And believe it or not, I've got kind of a semi third channel for meant to be for Ark, but I'm transforming it into a PvP style channel for games like Dune Awakening. Rust and more. So I rarely plug it directly, my other content, but do go and check it out in pinned in the comment section. If you want to know about everything to do with survival games, news, gameplay and guides, much like I've covered on this channel with Grounded and more, then make sure you subscribe to the rest of my content. And yeah, I'm obviously really sad about Grounded and I wish it wasn't true, but I have got to start thinking now and planning. I don't want to be one of them Minecraft channels that dies 
because they haven't evolved with their fan base. Grounded is an amazing game. I'm still going to carry on playing it for now. Lots of guides still and lots of stuff I can think of to do like 100 days content and more. But there is going to be a point until we get that sequel announcement or any more news it just isn't going to be much for me to carry on doing. So hopefully you guys understand that if you've been here a long time and if you're new hopefully I haven't ruined this video keep mentioning Grounded hopefully just showing you a bunch of cool games that you might enjoy. My name's Jade again and I'll see you Ratbags for more guides, news and gameplay in survival soon.